Okay, now let us get into this evidence coming from the independent. And what they say, trust the science, right? Now we need to use critical thinking. We need to connect the dots and ask questions. Because you already know, I don't trust these doctors, right? And when you know the history of medicine, you will understand why. Girl who had limbs amputated after hospital mistake wins eight figure payout. Money cannot bring who your daughter was back, but it can secure her future. Judge Glenn told the girl's family at the I court in London. Okay, a girl who had all four of her limbs amputated after she was wrongfully discharged from hospital has won a multi million. Pound pale, the child was taken to the emergency department at Firmly Park Hospital in Surrey, displaying red flags for meningitis and sepsis, sepsis, including a high temperature, fast heart rate, leg pain, drowsiness, and vomiting. Despite the warning sign, she was prescribed paracetamol and was discharged by the hospital. A few hours later, her parents took her back to accident and emergency after she developed a rash and a fever and she was diagnosed now. A while back, I had a run in with a doctor. Now, he let me know that he's a doctor and how he spent so many years of studying at this top university in the UK. And I had to ask him, did they teach you just to prescribe paracetamol and hydrocortisone cream? Because I noticed that there seems to be a one-stop treatment for everything using paracetamol. I got cancer, paracetamol. My leg broke, paracetamol. You know, I lost an eye, paracetamol. Everything is paracetamol and go home. Nobody is looking to check. Nobody is looking to um, do any blood work. Just a paracetamol and go home. Right? After... All the sophisticated um, equipment and the fancy education, all they can give you is paracetamol and go home. Let us continue. I'm highly suspicious as to what happened here. Now listen, but the infection spread and she had to have above knee amputation of both legs and above elbow amputation of her arms, right? So, in my opinion, right, I feel that they know what was going to happen and somebody wanted to be dr saw right somebody wanted to enjoy the moment to butcher the child because you're telling me in a modern country with modern equipment and fancy education and top university a simple diagnosis you miss that you miss a simple diagnosis of a sep sep sepsis right in such a modern country with all the fancy equipment. Just because someone have some sort of a fetish or some fantasy of butchering this child. That is just what I'm feeling. That is what I'm taking from this case right now. Right? Because I'm finding it very hard to believe that you could make such a stupid, silly mistake after all these years of training. Let's get into the next piece of evidence that I saw a few days ago. I went to a hospital to have my baby and was discharged without my hand. It was a routine birth, but now I can't bathe or breastfeed my baby. It's breaking my heart and it's still a mystery how it would happen. Carla's birth experience should have gone smoothly. The 24 year old was young and healthy when she went into labor at 39 weeks. Her sweet baby boy was healthy and all seemed to be going well. But shortly after the delivery, Carla, who, had, who has two other children, started losing a dangerous amount of blood. Medical staff at the Rio de Janeiro hospital rushed to her side, inserting a cannula into her hand. It was a routine part of making sure Doctors and nurses would be able to administer fluid, fluids and medication, but shockingly, the simple procedure cost Carla her hand. To, to this day, it's, it is a mystery, Carla's mother said. She went in there and left without a part of her body, without her hand. 
not a mystery to me. Now, this story is the 19th of January, 2023. Not a mystery to me, right? Somewhere along the line, someone has a fetish to play Dr. Saw, right? To butcher people. That is what I'm getting from this story, right? This is just my opinion. People, you need to be very careful. They like to tell you to trust the science, but you need to be very, very careful, right? Be very careful. Nobody kills people like doctors. And I've did quite a few um, videos explaining the experiments that they have done over the years on innocent people all in the name of medicine. And if anyone want to challenge me with regards to how doctors kill people in the name of science, you are most welcome to that. Right? Nobody kill people like doctors. And that is for around the world. And they do so in the name of medicine. Now somebody have a fetish. Right? Feel like to play Dr. Saw. Right? Dr. Butcher. And decide to butcher these people. Wait until they get worse and just butcher them. Now you need to use critical thinking. Connect the dots. And ask questions. Because right now... I am very suspicious as to what is happening to medicine in this world. No, we need to pray and seek the face of the Most High. As I say, glory be to the Most High.